told to stand back here and I would hear what we're doing today. Oh yeah, I heard it that time. Sounded kind of like me in school drumming on the desk all the time. Yep, I guess we're fixing that. One thing I will say, I have proven that uh, UV resistant shelf paper actually does work as a UV as a uh, vinyl wrap. This stuff's been on here since March, early March. And so it's now middle of July and it's been through car washes and everything else. I don't really want to put this on there. It's been a long time. It's it, faded. Yeah, it's been a minute. Was it March or was it last fall? <laughs> You're supposed to be tracking it. it it'll be <laughs> there or there. It'll be if we find the video. <laughs> I'll, I may remember to do the video to look it up. I don't know. But it does actually work as a poor man's vinyl wrap if you can find something. Enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check the other side again. So would you say it's easier to do it this way or with uh, the... Um, it's a whole lot easier to do it this way. Yeah. This, these things are wonderful. I'm happy to have these. They made my life a lot easier. In all honesty, we've joked about it before, but this is the, probably the first product I would consider having a sponsor on this channel. <laughs> Thoroughly impressed. Yeah. Love this device. Why are we thoroughly impressed? Quick check. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. This made life so much easier. How come the Yaris gets closer to the roof than the Kia did? Because it's taller. Uh, the body's taller, the wheelbase is shorter. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow shorter and taller all at the same time. It's a wonderful combination. So this is the 2007 Toyota Yaris and the exhaust has a teeny tiny bit of a death rattle so we're trying to find the source of that but i have seen the still zip ties yes <laughs> am i the only one who sees this brand name and keeps wanting to put a p right there right there in front of the a am i the only one is it just me okay We'll show you what happened. Previously, this mount broke off of the resonator here. Now this bracket broke off, so it's doing that. So I'm gonna put this one back. I'm going to find where I put this one and put it back there. And uh, I can't weld, so zip ties it is for the win <laughs> or JV weld maybe both <laughs> technical difficulties my uh, 25 year old crawler finally broke when in doubt use more zip ties I have found this determined I was looking at it just going to set it so I could take it to be welded then notice, I don't know if you can see, well, it'd be better if I turn the light on, wouldn't it? But if you can, if you can see out there, kind of, sort of, it is rusted out bad up there. It's rusted out completely and dented in here. I am going to use some stove tape on that to help the leak a little bit to quiet it down, but and then zip tie it but yeah it's i didn't do that that's just that way <laughs> it's been that way because we looked at that when we saw this so i am going to when i get the money replace the exhaust all the way up to the engine junction there all the way back because yeah there's a whole lot of of problems i'm and i don't know if i can reuse these with it welded and that's rusting, so yeah. 
but other than the little bit of rubbing on the aluminum it is sturdy so that should last until I can afford the exhaust or if it starts making noise I'll get under here with more zip ties so how's it going today on the wrong way to fix your exhaust all the wrong ways to fix your exhaust we're getting there and remember they make the right zip ties and duct tape for everything Red Green would be proud. Just remember, they make a, a duct tape and a zip tie for everything. This is space shuttle quality. <laughs> stainless steel zip ties and stainless steel stovepipe tape. Yeah, it's probably going to blow out, but eh, it should keep it from being quite as noisy. Either that or I'll make a nice balloon pop at some point. Between that and that at least it's stable i'm not quite so sure it's space shuttle quality it's at least boeing quality oh come on i mean space shuttle quality space station quality depends on which space station <laughs> yeah <laughs> But, yep, yeah, so, at least it's not rattling all over the place. It's not going to rip itself apart. It's not going to rip the O2 sensor apart. So, that was the biggest thing. This is not a permanent solution. This is a, okay, I'm going to make this last until I have to replace this because, yeah, bad. All bad. Uh, but, hey, it's better. It doesn't sound like it's falling apart. This reminds me. I think I'm just going to remove this. It, it bolted here. This bolt's gone. I'm going to take the other bolt off there. And I don't know. It's supposed to protect. It's protecting the fuel tank. The only thing. I got to figure out some solution other than the zip tie. It's recording. Okay. I took the uh, bolt that was holding the aluminum on. Took the aluminum that was left. Took the panel. Split it, fixed it, shoved it under there, used the aluminum that was left from the end as a slip washer, and then bolted it back down and tightening it up. It had a little bit more tightening it probably could use, but it has to secure the aluminum again, so it should stay up there now without the zip tie, and it's not longer zip tied to the parking brake. So, all kinds of weird repairs, but hey, it will work for now. Okay, filming. Just kind of trying to see what's going on. There's oil coming from the bell housing. I'm trying to tell whether it's gear oil or oil oil. I think it may be gear oil. So, seems to be getting where it's grinding more. Read owner's manual before refilling. So that is the fill hole. <laughs> or the drain. Yeah, it should be fill. Where's the drain then? Maybe it is the drain. Nope, there's the drain. So yeah, that'll be the fill. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's new. Right, geez, well, I guess I'll see the oil is low. If oil's not low, then your oil it is. What are we doing? So, got the exhaust all fixed. I changed the oil while I was at it. Checked the transmission fluid. It was full. Might be a leak the main sealed engine, but nothing major, so we'll worry about it when it comes to time to do the clutch. Um, but, got everything secured on the exhaust, and so now we're going to start it up and see if it. Uh, I still hear that. 
that you immediately blew that out. You hear it out here, but you don't hear it as bad inside, so hey, that's something. So. Oh, hey, remember the rogue used to make a sucky sucky noise inside when it. you were flooring it. I know it. Alright, so it's repaired and serviced. I've got to reset the stupid uh, trip thing, which I've shown in another video. And so there we go. Then the warm up, run a little bit, get the oil circulated, check the level. And that's really about it. So, till next time, have a good one. Like, share, subscribe. Later. How are we feeling tonight? Under